in this problem, we are being given a list of numbers, a data set here. In this case, they're salaries for different employees at a business. And we're being asked to tell what happens to the mean, the average, when you change one of those values and also what happens to the median. So one of the things they've done for us that's pretty nice is they've given us this list of salaries. These are weekly salaries. Uh, and they've ordered them from smallest to largest. So if we wanted to know what the median is, finding that middle value is not going to be too tough. Uh, we've got an even number, though. So these two are the middle two values. If it was an odd number of, of data points, we could have one single middle value. So the median, let's just go ahead and calculate that. What you would do is take 773 and uh, 784 and take the average of those two. So I'll add them together, and we'll divide by 2. And I get 778.5. So that's our median right now. Our average, our mean, well, that takes a little more calculating. You're going to have to add up all these values and then divide by 10, which is the number of values. What I've done is actually I've typed this into a spreadsheet because I find it easier to do this stuff on a spreadsheet. So let me show you. Here's that set of values. And then you can calculate your average by uh, using some formulas. I've clicked into this empty cell here. I'm going to hit the equal sign, and then I'm going to type in SUM, and then a parentheses, and then select over all these lines, and then end parentheses. That gives us the sum of all of those. Then I hit the, the slash key. That div means divide, and then 10. So that's the sum of all those divided by 10. So when I hit Enter, I should get the average, 711. Point four. So that's our mean. So let's go back uh, here. So in this problem, what they're saying is let's take this 1036 and change it to 786. I guess in the real world, this means you, you fire or somebody quits who earns the most, and then you hire a new person who earns a little bit less. So this, seven, this 1036 goes away, and the 786 goes in its place. So we want to know what happens to the mean. Well, let's go ahead and try that on our spreadsheet. Uh, our mean right now is 711.4. So let's actually write that down, 711.4. And then we'll take that 1036 and put 786 in place of it. So right here, we're going to take that and type in 786. Now let's see what happens to the mean. Oh, it goes down to 686.4. So let's write that down. So this is, it goes to 686.4. And if you want to find out, um, well, definitely decreases. doesn't stay the same. So 711.4, uh, I'm just pulling out my calculator now, minus 686.4, it decreases by $25. All right, so when we took a higher value out and replaced it with a lower value, value, it put the average or the mean down. And that makes sense. That should happen. Any value here is going to affect the mean. How about the median? Does the median change? Well, to figure out the median here, we need to put this new item in order on this list. So 786 would fit in right here. So 786 goes there. Now, the two middle values, oh, well, the two middle values are still the same. So this that new value was a little bit above our median, so it actually doesn't change the two middle values. And that means the median here stays the same. So that's a little bit of work with how changing a value in a data set will change the mean and the median.